بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد But perhaps the most famous one is by the Imam himself who says in a letter famously Try and memorize this. It's a very short statement and it's by the 12th Imam himself. Pray insistently for the hastening of the reappearance. Pray abundantly for the hastening of the reappearance. For in doing so, you will find your own relief and salvation. Scholars have looked at this statement from the 12th Imam. What does it mean when the Imam says that the more you pray for relief, meaning the return of the Imam, that you yourself will find your relief and salvation? Well, the obvious meaning of the Hadith is that when the Imam reappears, all our problems will be solved. When the Imam finds relief himself by means of returning, then we will also find relief and comfort and salvation. The apparent meaning of the Hadith. But there is another more subtle meaning. And that can only be explained if I tell you another hadith that's narrated in Al-Kafi, which is our preeminent collection of hadiths. In which it says that one day Abu Basir, who was a companion of Imam Sadiq, the sixth Imam, he comes to him complaining of an adversity, difficulty. He was going through a lot of challenges. So he comes to the Imam and he says to him, Matal Faraj. When will relief come? In other words, when will the avenger return? When will the 12th Imam be seen? So the Imam says to Abu Basir, listen carefully. He says to him, Ya Aba Basir, innaka mimman yatlubu dunya Are you one of those people who wants the pleasures of this world? In other words, Ya Aba Basir, are you praying for the return of the Imam just so somebody could solve your own problems? Is that why you're praying for him? He said to him, O oh son of the Messenger of Allah, is that wrong to pray for the end to the occultation and the time of darkness so that my problems could be solved? The Imam said to him, Ya Aba Basir, Inna man kana ala al amr, those who believe in him, those who are anticipating his return, those who pray for his return and an end to his occultation are already in a state of relief. O oh, Abba Basir, people like you are already saved because you believe in him and that in itself is a noble trait that should be pursued at all costs. <laughs> what that means, brothers and sisters, is that the mere fact that we pray for the Imam means that number one, you believe in him. And that puts you ahead of most people out there. Number two, it means you believe in his mission. You believe in his agenda. You believe in what he aspires to do when he returns. And that in itself is a source of inspiration. It connects you to the Imam. It moves you to do better. It moves you and inspires you to be a better, more productive, positive member of society. And that in itself, again, is a great noble trait. Also, one of the benefits of praying for the Imam, as narrated in our traditions, is that it ensures that you are never in a state of despair and hopelessness.